Hi everyone, this is Jessica. I'm one of the Health Beat Advisors here at UC San Diego's Career Center. And today I'm going to do a quick demo on the new and improved Medical School Admissions Requirements Database, otherwise known as the MSAR. So if you Google MSAR space AAMC, you will find this. It's $27 annually. If you're applying this cycle, you should definitely pay for it now and start using it. So I'm going to do a quick overview of the new database. Um, so what it is, is it's medical schools in the U.S. and in Canada. So there's 164 in this database. You can filter by state, as well as filter by schools that accept out-of-state applicants and schools that accept international applicants. So the most, the largest improvement um, is a key feature they added where you can actually search by median MCAT score as well as median GPA. And this is just so much easier than it has been in the past. So you don't have to sift through all 164 schools. So you could maybe want to see like what schools accept lower MCAT scores and then maybe a school that accepts a median GPA between a 3.5 and a 3.7 and then it'll just pull up some schools that fit in that range and this gives you a starting place so you can see some of these schools have lower GPAs as well as MCAT scores um, and this could be either safety schools or it could be if this is where you fit this could be the place that you'd start um, but it just gives you a realistic picture of schools that fit in your particular range. So there's 12 there. Um, but if we go to California, let's look at some of the California schools and mine, mine a bit of the data, get rid of some of these filters. And then let's look at UC San Diego since that's the school where we're currently at and where a lot of people want to go. So here's a snapshot of UC San Diego School of Medicine. The median GPA is a 384, the AMCATs is a 517. So that's very competitive. Um, another huge improvement um, the MSAR had is they used to have so many tabs when you would look at individual schools. Um, but now they have six. So if we started here at the overview, this just gives you general contact information, admissions, talks about primary application, letters of recommendation, and secondary. So secondaries, this area is really important. It tells you how much they are, as well as um, if you're screened or not. And most of the UC screen applicants, which means you have been looked at and you are a viable applicant. A lot of the prime private schools do not screen you. They send automatic secondaries. And the reason this is important to know is because you aren't screened and you are expected to pay whatever the secondary application fee is. And it's give, it gives you another opportunity to truly ask yourself if you are viable for that particular school. This also gives you interview information, application policies, acceptance information, waitlist information, how many are on the waitlist and how many they, they are likely to take off the waitlist. That can be a strategy. Also, this is much a huge improvement as well. It looks great. Um, the pre-medical experience of the first year class, also required recommended pre-medical coursework, and then some MCAT data. So we, they showed that in the front too, but here they break it down by category and section, as well as the median GPA, median science GPA. And then here's the matriculant, matriculation data for the first year class, which tells you how many applicants there were, how many were interviewed in-state versus out-of-state, and how many they actually took. So this is really important information. Also, um, you can find information on the education piece, really looking for is there a research component and is it mandatory? So at UC San Diego, it's not. If it is, it is at certain schools, and if you're not into research, that might not be a school you want to go to. Also knowing when patient interaction starts. Is it the first year, the second year, the third year? That can be really important in making your decision. And this gives you an average graduate indebtedness. So this gives you a lot of useful information. So that's really the MSAR in a nutshell. Um, I would also recommend creating some sort of spreadsheet like this where it tracks all your schools. Usually, again, I say start with the MCAT median, GPA, 
and um, the science GPA median, and then you can break your schools down into California schools, top tier schools, safety schools, uh, consider how many spots there actually are, how many percent they accept in state versus out of state, and then uh, various other categories to consider. And you can find this on our website at healthbeat.ucsd.edu under the application section. So if you have any questions about this demo or ap applying this year, please make an appointment if you're a junior or senior and you have access to Port Triton. And then if you are still a freshman or sophomore just having some questions, feel free to come to our drop-in advising hours here. And again, that's at healthbeat.ucsd.edu. Thanks and good luck.